Hey everyone, it's Ashley Elizabeth here and I'm so excited that you are joining me for this lesson today on sowing and reaping. About a year ago, the Lord entrusted me with this piece. I had found it at a thrift store for about $20 and it's an old antique sewing table and it has a 1945 Singer sewing machine located inside of it. But when I saw it, you know, it's all beat up on the top and all scratched up on the sides and it's just not in good condition and not very pretty. You know, people have neglected it and not taken care of it and the result of that has not been good. And the Lord kind of started stirring my heart. He said, yeah, that's kind of like life sometimes, huh? And I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, well, when we choose to uh, neglect our lives, when we choose to sow bad things into uh, certain situations, the result of that can be yucky. We can reap a horrible harvest from that, huh? And uh, I, I just, I was so taken back by that. I said, yeah, you know, like the top of this uh, piece, you know, the people that have owned it before, they had put water rings all over the top and it had completely ruined the whole top of the table, you know, so that was a bad seed that they sowed and the effect of that was that it ruined it. And they've neglected it, you know, and not tended to it over the years. Uh, and that that was a bad seed that we sowed into that. And, you know, um, it, the result of that was not a good result. We've got an ugly sewing table right now. But there is nothing too ugly for God to make beautiful again. And I'm going to explain to you how we do that uh, and, and how God makes even the ugliest of situations beautiful, even if we've sown bad seeds, uh, how he can turn that away or turn that, you know, around and make it beautiful again. You know, he started speaking to me. He said, sometimes we just need a fresh start, you know, over the sewing table. So sometimes you have to um, paint it, give it a give it a good coat of paint to get a fresh start. And, and spiritually, what that would look like is sometimes you have to repent, you know, um, to get a fresh start. You know, all the yucky um, has, you know, just consumed you and, and it's not looking too good. And sometimes you just have to say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done. I repent. I'm turning away from my sinful nature and I'm going to follow you. And in that itself, you know, just as soon as we do that, as soon as we get a, a, a fresh new start, it all of a sudden begins to look beautiful. And sometimes we have to ask guidance, you know, like, Lord, what can I do to make my life look even more beautiful? What can I do to make this table look even more beautiful? And he spoke to my heart. He said, well, maybe change the knobs on it and, and add knobs with a little bit of sparkle so it kind of shines, you know. So uh, we're going to do that and, and make it uh, just something um, a, a little different and, and something that we can be proud of so we don't have to have this ugly sewing table anymore so that it can be something that is so beautiful and something that we are so proud of, you know, and, and something that we can, uh, we can stand before God with a clean conscience and say, I did everything that you told me to. And it, the result of that was a beautiful, beautiful harvest. So, you know, the Lord had led me to a scripture in, in the midst of that lesson, and I want to share this with you. It's out of Galatians 6, 9, and it says, So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. And beloved, it is so easy in today's world to give up in doing good because we are surrounded by the weight of this world and the heaviness of the evil and the darkness that surround us. And we just, some days, if we're honest with God, we're just like, Lord, I'm just tired. I'm tired of doing good. I'm tired of trying to do what you're telling me to. And, and people are taking advantage of me and burning me. But the word of God says that if we don't give up, you know, no matter what people will do, no matter how evil this world gets, no, no matter how dark dark it is, if we do not give up in doing good, we will reap a harvest of uh, God's grace and His goodness, and it will be so beautiful. I pray that this lesson blesses you today. I pray that it will just leave you encouraged to want to sow good seeds into the kingdom of God, to not get caught up in, in all the yuck, and, uh, and to let God make things beautiful again in your life. I love you so much. I hope you guys have a great week. You take care. You be blessed. And until I see you again, bye-bye.